guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's advent calendar unboxing is T2T World of Tea advent calendar. So this is their 24 day advent calendar for 2020 and this is the tea bag version. They also make one that just has loose leaf tea in so you can choose whichever one you want depending on your preference. Each calendar retails at £20 and I bought this myself, just tells you on the back what's in there. T2, if you're not aware, is an Australian tea brand but it does have branches here in the UK and a website which is where I purchased this from. So like I said, I'm going to unbox every door here. I have got a loose leaf tea calendar coming later this week from a different brand and I'll be unboxing that one and talking about that one when it gets here. So if you enjoy tea advent calendars, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when that video goes live. There's also a whole advent calendar playlist that I put together. I've got over 55 unboxing and reveal videos, mainly of beauty advent calendars, but some like food calendars and things like that in there. So if you want to check that out, it's there on the channel. Before I get into this unboxing, I also picked up one of the gifts from the T2 um, Christmas gift range. And I just wanted to mention it because I just think it is the perfect gift in terms of price and content for a lot of people. So this is T2 Tea Nomad. The packaging is stunning. I mean, you could like almost gift it without wrapping it, it's lovely. And then inside, it's like this. Now, it did have a mug in it, but I've taken the mug out because I am having my cup of tea in it right now. But this is what the mug looks like, and it's a limited edition mug that they've made, especially for this particular gift. And it's got this nice blue detail around the top and a nice little handle there. It's also dishwasher and microwave safe, um, which I mentioned because a lot of T2 tea wares, because they're really lovely and they top them off with gold and things, they're quite often not suitable for the dishwasher or the microwave. So this one's a little bit more uh, robust. And then inside we get 16 different teas. So when the cup was in it, you literally opened it and you could just see the cup on top. And then, it reminds me of those things, um, that you do as a child where you do this and you open it and it has different words behind it. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but anyway, inside here you get a range of teas and I just think this gift costs 20 pounds and I just think it's a really nice price point. It's perfect to introduce somebody to really nice quality teas because T2 teas are pretty pricey. So you get 16 different teas in here and I'll show you what they are in just a second and you get the cup as well. So I think overall you're getting a lot for the 20 pounds and it would just make a gorgeous gift. So I've gifted it to myself, but I just thought I would mention it because um, I think I will pick another one up for a gift for someone else because I just think it's perfect. So inside here we get the gorgeous geisha, which is a green tea. We get green rose, which is another green tea, but with like rose flavors. We get Jade Mountain, which is another green tea. Um, with cocoa brittle pieces and like the hint of chocolate in there and we also get lemon grass and ginger so some of them have got caffeine in some of these tea bags and some are just tisane so they've not got any caffeine in then we've got a chai a christmas breakfast which i'm dying to try because i don't think i've ever tried the christmas breakfast despite it being one of their best sellers so i don't know how i've managed that but christmas breakfast i'm excited for that french earl grey which is um their best selling tea and it's an earl grey as the name would suggest but it's also got really fruity notes and that's actually what i'm drinking right now because i love it i just drink that particular tea black and i just think it's gorgeous i discovered it in store it is nice with milk as well but i'm actually drinking it without at the minute anyway love french earl grey love 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 it and then there's also one called go go goer which is a black tea which has biscuity sweetness it contains things like cinnamon cardamom ginger orange peel pink pepper sounds interesting i don't think i've tried that one before then we've got pumping pomegranate which makes a really nice iced tea but it's also quite nice warm the sleep tight which is a night timey tea which is lemon balm based it also has lavender and jasmine blossoms and rose petals we've got sticky date delight which i don't think i've tried but it's a flavored rooibos tea with flavours of caramel toffee sauce and steaming sticky date, which sounds interesting. And tummy tea, which is one of their teas that is designed to kind of help as well as being tasty. And this is a minty after dinner treat that obviously helps with your 
stomach after you've had a big meal, which would be particularly useful around Christmas time when we're stuffing ourselves full of food, or is that just me? And then we also get Melbourne breakfast, which is a really lovely breakfast tea. They do a lot of different breakfast teas named after different places in Australia. And they also have one for like New York and things like that. But Melbourne breakfast is an English breakfast tea, but then there is a little bit of vanilla going on in there as well. Morning sunshine, which is a mix of Assam, Darjeeling and Rwandan. Lovely. New York breakfast, which I alluded to before, which is probably my second favorite tea after the French Earl Grey. And this is lovely and sweet vanilla mixed with the English breakfast tea. And it's just oh, lovely. And then finally, Pax a peach, which is a peach blended tea. And it's also got flavors of papaya, apple, and roasted chicory. Again, that one's nice, hot or cold. But if somebody bought me this gift, I would just be thrilled because I love tea, I love having new cups, even though I really don't need any more, and I love trying different flavours of teas. So this would just be the perfect gift to me. I would really appreciate that and feel like somebody would really take the time to think about a perfect gift for me if somebody bought me this. So I'm sure there's other people like me that would love this. So I just thought I'd give it a quick mention. And then, obviously, I got the calendar. So I'm going to unbox this day by day or unfold it because it is just a kind of cardboard, quite a structured calendar. So total spoiler alert, we're gonna open every single window and I'm gonna to talk to you about every tea behind it. So keep watching if you wanna see that. So day number one is here. So we're starting off with Melbourne breakfast. When the winds start howling, this brew will see you through. Indulge a little with this full bodied vanilla sweet tea bound to keep you cozy all year round. Sip it up Melbourne style. I'm a big fan of the T2 breakfast teas and that one is very nice. Day number two, over here. And we've got gorgeous geisha. So this is a green tea. Smooth, sweet and so creamy. Sencha green tea combined with the luscious flavours of strawberries and cream is delicious, hot or iced as a summer treat. This geisha has got a hold on us. Obviously in the winter time I'm going to be having it hot. Um, of course, with it being green tea, it is one that you could do with brewing at 80 degrees. I do actually have a kettle that's temperature controlled, but if you don't and you want to drink green tea, I would recommend putting a little bit of cold water in before you add the hot, mixing it together and then putting the tea bag in, because if it's too hot, it will just burn the green tea leaves. Um, it does actually tell you on the back of every individual envelope um, how many minutes to brew the tea and at what temperature and how much tea it will make, generally one bag in these sizes. Day number three and we've got strawberries and cream so this is a fruity tea no caffeine in this one strawberry fields are forever with this beautiful red brew and sweet aroma and it contains things like apple hibiscus rose hip strawberry granules and it's nice and sweet day number four up here and this is lemon grass and ginger so another caffeine free tea and it says with a hint of zest and a whole lot of spicy, bright lemongrass, this brew smacks you sideways with a refreshing sensation that's just as vibrant as it is engaging. Book her up. Day number five. Morning sunshine. This harmonious mix of Assam, Darjeeling and Rwandan estate black teas offers robust multi notes with a touch of muscatels and mild fruitiness. Simply exceptional, this brew is just the sip to wake up to. And that's definitely another one I can really recommend. It's a lovely tea. Day number six down here. China Jasmine. Jasmine's probably the only tea flavor I'm not massively a fan of. So this is a blend of green tea and jasmine, which produces a light yellow infusion with a delicate jasmine scent. A very popular green tea, great for everyday drinking or as an accompaniment to Asian food. Day number seven. Earl Grey. I do like a bit of Earl Grey. So this is different from the French Earl Grey. This is just more of a traditional Earl Grey. And it says, Earl Grey is a Sri Lankan black tea combined with the citrus delights of bergamot, generating an elegant and balanced full flavored cup, an afternoon tea essential. Day number eight, Pax a peach. It's all peachy with this succulent blend of lip smacking flavors. This sweet brew sings of peach, papaya, apple, and roasted chicory, creating a soft combo that really packs a peach. Also great iced. 
Day number nine. English breakfast. So this is a good old classic English breakfast, but being tea too, it's a little bit more special. You get a little bit more of the flavor and stuff in there. It's a really good quality English breakfast. So it says a traditional blend of Sri Lankan broken leaf teas that produces a coppery liquor with an assertive aroma. The flavor is bright and brisk, perfect any time of the day. So day number 10 up here. And we've got tummy tea. A little something yummy for your tummy. Here's a wonderful minty after dinner treat with a sumptuous, smooth and sweet aftertaste that'll linger well into the evening. Day number 11. Creme brulee. This is really nice as well. So this is a black tea. I've tried it a number of times because I bought it myself before and it's really nice. It's just a black tea flavoured to taste just like creme brulee. So that's the great thing about tea too and the way that they produce their teas. A lot of them do taste like the dessert they're supposed to taste like and then you get that kind of sweet hit without eating a whole creme brulee. And it says a decadent sweet treat, velvety vanilla plays with a rich caramel and smooth hazelnuts in a gorgeously golden brew. An intense aroma that enhances a glorious infusion. Day number 12. And we've got green rose. So this is a green tea and it says vibrant green tea blended with rose petals and tropical fruits for a bold taste sensation great as an afternoon tea and blooming beautiful iced in summer day 13 new york breakfast like I said, this is a lovely kind of sweet vanilla -y breakfast tea. A full-bodied black tea boasting the taste of hot pancakes inspired by a perfect New York moment. Warm up the morning or sweeten up your afternoon and be whisked away to the city that never sleeps. So you'll particularly enjoy that if you've got a little bit of a sweet tooth. You definitely won't need to add sugar to your tea or anything like that. But I mean that in a nice way. It's not like too sweet because I don't normally drink sugary tea or anything but that just has a lovely sweetness and just feels a little bit more decadent than your average tea. Day number 14 and we've got Sencha. So this is just a really kind of high quality green tea and it says these beautiful emerald green leaves produce a delicate aroma and a sweet smooth grassy flavour. No green eyed monster here. This brews a classic green tea to be enjoyed daily. Day number 15 up here and French Earl Grey. So like I said, this is my current favorite. I do swap it up a little bit, depending on which one I'm trying. Sometimes I enjoy others more, but at the moment, French Earl Grey is the fave. Oh, that is so good. So Earl Grey gets a French twist, which is oh so fruity. Medium bodied black tea base with pretty petals and notes of fruit that play with a classic bergamot and an inspiring, bold and refined infusion. Day number 16, Sticky Date Delight. And it says, this traditional sticky taffy pudding in your hot little hands. The indulgently rich tastes of caramel, silky smooth toffee sauce and steaming sticky date make for a drool worthy brew that's simply sublime. Day number 17, Go, Go, Goer. Climb aboard a rickshaw and hit the buzzing streets of Goa. This playful blend boasts a biscuity sweetness that will keep you on the go-go. So this is a black tea with the flavours of that biscuity sweetness. Day number 18 up here, Jade Mountain. So this is a lovely sweet green tea and it says explore Jade Mountain and discover a utopia of cocoa, brittle pieces and green tea. The ascent may be steep but the hint of chocolate and sweet hazelnut praline is totally worth it. Day number 19. Chai. Chai is definitely a very wintry kind of Christmassy taste to me. Make a nice powerful chai at sea too. Complex, spicy and incredibly tasty, our signature chai blend is a unique classic. Perfect to wrap your hands around on a chilly afternoon, traditionally brewed with milk and honey. You can of course heat up some warm milk and make it into a bit of a chai latte. Day number 20, up here. 
just peppermint. I used to hate peppermint tea. I don't know what it was, because I've always liked mint as a flavor, but I was a bit, oh, peppermint. But I really grew to love it, and it has like magical powers. If you ever get like stomach ache, or you eat too much, or anything like that, it really can help. And I now I love peppermint and recommend it to lots of people, but this is a lovely one. So this is just peppermint. Lush peppermint leaves create a bright infusion, hot or cold, a well-rounded flavour, captures the sweet essence of all things minty with a cool lingering aroma to freshen your day. Day number 21. Pumping pomegranates. It says the essence of Grand Bazaar is Istanbul, a sweet, tangy and mystical flavour. This tea will take you on a flavour journey with its many surprises. And it's got apple, hibiscus, rosehip, elderberry and pomegranate seeds in there. Day number 22 down here. Singapore breakfast. Now I don't think I've ever tried this one. This is a flavoured black and green tea in a bag. I've definitely never had a black and green tea together. So it says, reminiscent of Kaya Toast, this mix of pear, green tea, coconut and pandan sings with richly sweet, toasty and coconutty flavours. This brew is the ultimate ode to Singapore's beloved national breakfast. Ooh, that sounds really interesting. I'm really intrigued to see what that one's gonna taste like. Day number 23, just here sleep tight which personally I think would have been a good kind of Christmas Eve -y one because obviously struggling to sleep Christmas Eve all the excitement about Santa coming so this is their relaxing night tea and it says a lemon balm based to saying this is the perfect nighttime brew with a glorious aroma and delicate sweet flavor and it contains lemon balm lavender jasmine blossoms and rose petals and then finally, day number 24. Ah, of course, Christmas tea. That kind of makes sense, I guess, on Christmas Eve. I've not tried this yet, but I'm dying to try it. Tis the season to embrace this delightfully classic gingerbread brew filled with familiar festive flavours. This merry drop is a star-eyed constellation of robust, sweet and velvety smooth notes. And it's a black tea with ginger, cinnamon, natural and artificial flavouring, including gingerbread, vanilla, chocolate gingerbread, honey, ginger and nutmeg. I love those kinds of flavours, so I think I'm gonna like it. Now I must say, now I've unboxed it all, they have all gone back in and they have allowed me to shut the door. You can kind of tell with some in particular, I've opened them, but there's been no tearing and everything's gone back. So the reason why I mention that is you can actually buy the T2 um, individual tea bags in envelopes if you want to get like a selection pack and try lots of different teas. So you could actually use one of those to refill this next year. So that actually makes it a little bit more kind of sustainable as a choice. Um, personally, I kind of miss being able to go into T2 stores and try all the teas before you buy them. That was always a great uh, kind of advantage to being able to go in store. Not that I've got any that near to me, but uh, when I did get the chance, I really enjoyed that experience. But of course, with everything going on in the world, it's no longer an option. So I love this as an opportunity to kind of reacquaint myself with a lot of my T2 favorites, as well as discovering some new teas I haven't tried before. So let me know, what do you think of this year's T2 calendar? Leave me a comment underneath, let me know. The design is very, very lovely and kind of sparkly and they've got some nice cups and things with some of this design on so if you like it there's lots on the t2 website that you could check out so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i'd love it if you give me a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell i've got more tea advent calendars and other advent calendars to unbox for you and thank you so much for watching bye guys